how do you define science? Science is most generally um, an intellectual activity that relates to nature, uh, relates to uh, the pursuit of a curiosity about nature in all of its forms. Uh, there are uh, the obvious uh, branches of science that relate to the study of nature like physics, chemistry, if you will, of course biology, mathematics. Uh, and then there are closely related sciences that uh, depend on the, on, sci on the scientific method. Uh, and so then uh, economics could also be considered in many respects a science. It uses uh, advanced mathematics in many cases. It has the purpose of understanding uh, psychology as it relates to the marketplace. Uh, even more distant, of course, political science. I think generally we would not include uh, some of what today passes for political science under the umbrella of what the Asian science camp is about. Uh, environment plays another role, of course, and that is in the quality of the education you receive. Um, so as you said, we were exposed to a lot of topics and we, we hear a lot of things. So. How do you think uh, one should go about choosing a topic and what to work on? Making choices is hard, usually because it involves not what you choose to do, but what you choose not to do. Uh, how you do that is uh, more an emotional than a logical decision. I mean, you have to uh, let your own uh, inclination be the guide. It's not something that you can figure out by a logical process. Um, it's something which you have to arrive at by simply allowing it to happen. As a young scientist, um, I'm facing the question whether to study one mainly subject and focus my time and effort on it, or whether to uh, study as much as subject, as many subjects as I can. So what do you think about it? What do you think is the better way of it? I think that it is very beneficial to have as broad an education in science for as long as possible. I mean, the time will come when you are forced to concentrate on one thing. If uh, you don't gain admission to your first choice, you'll be fine to take your second or your third or your fourth because you have another chance after that. Um, I mean, as, as a scientist, the hardest thing to do is to figure out what question in a particular area you should devote your time and your energy to trying to answer. Uh, in general, not only in science, but in life, if you persist in something you really want, you will succeed. And it often means that you have to accept uh, repeated uh, f failure or repeated lack of success in one way or another, but in, in general if you are determined and you keep your goal before you and you don't give up, you will either succeed or you will accomplish something you didn't even anticipate that in some way comes out of that attempt. Do you have an advice to give us as a young scientist? My advice is very simple. It's what I give to my children who are your age or a bit older. You must try to identify some pursuit, whether it be science or in any other area that you may undertake as a career. It should be something that you care about, that you, uh, gives you a sense of purpose, uh, something that matters to you more than anything else. Not likely that it will make you wealthy, but it is not, and it's not likely that it will deliver uh, other material rewards, but it w does deliver great personal satisfaction uh, to those who choose to do it, uh, far beyond any material benefit that you could imagine.